G'day everybody, Sean from Burn Brothers here. I hope you are well. We are doing our August tasting videos. Now, these obviously look a little bit different to what you're used to from me. We've got a bit of sickness running through the uh, Bourbon Brothers team right now, a bit of the spicy cough. So I am doing these solo, which means I'm kind of mailing them in a little bit. So I apologize for that uh, up front, that they're not gonna be the normal uh, type of video. And uh, the good news is, for me at least, is we won't have the stupid bloopers that we usually have at the end of every video. Anyway, so these are gonna be a bit shorter, pretty, you know, not as in-depth as we have been, and I do apologize, we'll be back to normal programming for our September videos. So anyway, our first bottle we're gonna look at in August is the George Dickel Superior Number 12 Recipe. So, we looked at the George Dickel Distillery in depth in our February box, and we'll throw a link uh, to that video down here. So if you'd like to know a lot more about the uh, history of that distillery in depth, we'll link you back to that February uh, video, tasting video that we did. So George Dickel whiskey, it's a really distinctive and it can be a polarizing uh, whiskey. It's used as a source whiskey for a lot of non-distill uh, non-distiller producers at this point and you've probably even had George Dickel even if you didn't buy a bottle that features the George Dickel name. Um, many cite the whiskey as having a strong mineral and uh, fruit vitamin flavour to it but it really is the whiskey's cherry and overly fruity qualities that really stand out the most for me. So it's an easy drinker and you won't break the bank to get a hold of it. I don't mind it. I actually don't mind Dickel at all. There's always a bottle or two floating around in my home bar. So under the tasting of it, I'm not gonna do a, a live tasting uh, here, but I will tell you with my notes uh, that I have for the, the Dickel 12. So that nose, you'll get those fruity qualities coming through. You'll get that cherry, that apple, that vanilla uh, coming through with a little bit of oak and it's quite a strong nose uh, there. So you can spend a bit of time, let it breathe and you can really pick that one apart. On that palate, you'll get a fruit punch. It's just, it's that real fruit, typical Dickel fruit punch in your face uh, that comes through and, and a good dose of oak uh, with this one as well. And then you get that vanilla and a bit of a buttery mouthfeel to this one. And on the finish, there's dried oak, a little bit of baking spice in there and some cherries and it's a fairly short finish. So um, that's the Dickel 12. Again, apologies for the abbreviated tasting videos and uh, we'll be back to normal programming in September. Anyway, take care of yourself and enjoy the journey. Cheers. Um, it's an easy drinker and it, if you find it, you'll generally find it at a reasonable price as well. So it's a, it is a really good drinker for the price and it's probably one that um, you, you can enjoy. Oh, crap, I can do something with this.